Columban missionaries arrived in China in 1920, the first formal group. Nine years later, they arrived in the Philippines, specifically in Malate. Malate was an old parish run by Spanish missionaries for centuries, for a short while run by the Redemptorists, and in 1929, three Columbans arrived and stayed in Malate. This became the home of the Columbans in the Philippines. Malate uh, was part of the Archdiocese or of Manila, and uh, it was along Manila Bay. The Columbans came and they uh, started to use that as a base to go out on mission north and south in the Philippines. There were five priests there during World War II. They were warned not to do what they had been doing, and that was to stay with the people, encourage the people, and, uh, and of course, uh, they offered medical services, especially to those uh, who had no other way of being treated. So the school in Malaki was virtually a hospital, but the priests were all taken out and they were killed. They were extraordinary men. I suppose the best known one would be Father Hinahan, who wrote a lot of deep, spirituality. Uh, Father Patrick Kelly, uh, I've met many people in Manila who, mean, who knew him intimately. He, he was very, very popular with the people. But all of them, all of them, were um, deeply involved in the lives of the people. And they were all taken out and killed. Uh, we subsequently uh, in dialogue with the people, especially when it came to celebrate, say, the Golden Jubilee of the war, uh, there was a decision made to put up a, a bit of a monument. So the government and the city of Manila had been encouraged to put up a bronze statue, which they called Memorare. Uh, so when we saw that, uh, Neil O'Brien in particular, with the other priests in the Philippines at that time, said that's the kind of memorial that we would like to put there, and uh, it's a pieta, and the message on it is very strong, anti-war, and naturally with Malate being named after Our Lady of Remedies or Our Lady of Healing, um, it became a centre of strength for women, and especially women who most understand the sacredness of life and the insanity of war. That's our little memorial to those who died in Malate. Malate is very sacred, but it has been made special by the blood of its martyrs. And martyrdom didn't stop with the Second World War. That's another part of our story at this time.